Hey Canucks fans, hope you are well. Want to talk about a few items of news today, Canucks and Canucks related. Nothing earth shattering, but we're going to talk about the return of Carson Soucy. We're going to talk about Travis Green being hired at least as an interim coach and some more improvements to Rogers Arena. So let's start with the first one. The Canucks announced earlier today that defenseman Matt Irwin sent back to Abbotsford. So he didn't get into a game. Actually, I think he only did one or two practices while he was up here. But now he's being sent down. So that tells me that they're keeping a roster spot free for the returning Carson Soucy. I believe that Carson Soucy skated as a full participant in practice today in L.A. He practiced in Anaheim before the game um, yesterday. But he, he wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't either he wasn't cleared to play or they didn't want him to play yet. They want, I, I talked about they want at least two practices, two or three practices. So I think if they had a full practice in Anaheim, had a full practice today, that tells me game day skater not tomorrow. I probably d- I doubt it. That I think they're going to activate him for tomorrow night's game against the Los Angeles Kings. And this is obviously good news. Susi, I think, has been the Canucks' third best defenseman this season behind Hughes and Hronik. Um, he breaks up a lot of plays with his long reach. He plays tough enough. He's not the, the toughest guy in the world, but he plays tough enough. But uh, we've seen we've seen that he can make a difference when he's playing. And, and no surprise that the Canucks have struggled a little bit since both Susie and Joshua, have, I think, both contribute to that that the kind of uneven play of the Canucks, the fact that both of them are out. But yes, I think it's, it's great that he's coming back. And it's obvious to me that he's coming back because, like I said, Matt Irwin set down to Abbotsford freeing up a roster spot so then Carson Soucy can be activated to the act, uh, to the active roster. And I expect, you know, if they... I know they broke up Hughes and Hronick for a little bit last game, so we'll see what the pairings are tomorrow. Do you go back to Old Faithful and go Hughes, Hronick, Cole Myers, and then... Uh, sorry, uh, Soucy Myers, and then Cole and Zadorov, Or do you somehow keep Juleson in? It'll be interesting to see, actually, what Rick Tockett decides to do with his defense pairs. So again, Matt Irwin sent down to Abbotsford paving the way for the return of Carson Soucy. Second item of news, Lindy Ruff was fired by the New Jersey Devils today. Just didn't he win the Jack Adams like a year or two ago? And and then a contract extension? So life moves fast. And ex-Canucks coach Travis Green, who's an assistant, who was an assistant with the Devils, is now the interim head coach. Well, I it might be one of those things where they'll see how he does for the final 20 games of the season and then make a decision or maybe they'll interview people in the summer and maybe he's one of the ones they interview. But for now, for the least disruption, the least amount of disruption, you have uh, Travis Green stepping up to be the he- acting head coach, interim acting, whatever you want to call it. But he is the head coach of the New Jersey Devils. Too bad the Canucks don't play them again. We've already played them once at home once out, out, out um, in New Jersey, so we won't see them again. But at least, uh, uh, no, if, if you're a Travis Green fan, and I was, I, I liked him a lot. He was always kind to me. It's great to see that he's getting another chance to be a head coach. So we'll track that a little bit. We'll, kind of interesting to see. In, I'm interested to see how Travis Green does uh, for a team that's uh, likely not going to make the playoffs this year. Big, big disappointment. They're one of the favorites to win that division. And obviously that their, their poor play and injuries and bad luck have, and bad goaltending have cost Lindy Ruff his job. Finally, the Canucks are, uh, they announced today, stage three of their four-stage plan to improve Rogers Arena. I can't even remember what stage one was. I do remember that stage two or phase two was the giant video board, was the in-bowl digital screens, was the enhanced operation, hockey operations and training spaces, uh, new boards, new glass. Oh, I, I, and then the, the, the Well Health Presence Club, the expensive seats, that area. I'm sure that stage one, now that I think about it, it must have been um, kind of some of the internal things like the dressing rooms, media room and all that. That, that sounds right to me. Anyways, the Canucks today announced stage three. And they, they announced it as part of a press release that, and they call it um, Canucks announced latest round of improvements for the $150 million revitalization of Rogers Arena. So it's uh, no surprise to me that uh, they make this announcement given that ticket renewals and season tickets uh, packages go on, um, we're, we have to commit basically and start buying them as early as this week. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not bad business. It's, it, this makes sense. This makes intuitive sense 
that they announced it today before all those renewals happen. So when they're, not if, but when there's gonna be a price increase, they can at least point to this as justification for it. So what do we get in stage three? Stage three, the most important thing they announced, and it was something that they announced actually last summer when they started to build the Well Health Presidents Club, the black seats, the entire arena, not just the lower bowl, not just the expensive seats, the lower bowl and the upper bowl, all black seats, all with cup holders. Now the cup holders, it sounds, you know, it sounds kind of like whatever, but that's an important thing. Uh, once you sit in a seat that has a, cl a cup holder, you can't really go back to a seat that doesn't have a cup holder. Now you're not kicking your, your, your drink over or you're not spilling it on people or not worried about getting it kicked by someone else or whatever. At least now we all have cup holders. We will have cup holders. And that's part of this stage three um, revitalization of Rogers Arena. Another thing they're going to do, there's that Toyota fan experience, that Toyota concourse, whatever you want to call it, on the outside um, of the arena. And they're going to make that a lot better. And it sounds like what they're going to do is they're going to put a, a massive or at least um, a, a digital screen there, an interactive one. I don't know if you're going to be able to order food from there or whatever, but it says this. At the concourse level, a new and improved digital screen experience will be launched, connecting fans to the digital infrastructure within the bowl while aiding in navigating the arena and taking advantage of unique food and beverage options available. So maybe it's going to be a giant uh, or giant, not just one, but touchscreens kind of like you know, when you order at mcdonald's maybe you're you're able to order food and then pick it up in the bowl i mean once you get inside maybe it's something like that maybe it's maps of the arena kind of something that you'd see at a mall or something so we'll see but that is the toyota plaza and that's on the outside of the arena it's going to apparently enhance our experience once we get there and get into the arena finally they also announced um, a 400 level 400 sports and entertainment experience for fans that want a mix of social experiences and event viewing to me that sounds like they're doing what they do in club 500 where it's food it's drink and then you kind of more casual you can kind of hang around it's not sweets but you kind of talk to people and then go to your seat maybe they're going to do something like that on the 400 level which would obviously be uh, intuitively the level above 300 now encore is a 400 level so i i've sat in in that level before and it's fine especially if you have decent seats so there we go the three things the three things that stand out from stage three Black seats throughout the arena with cup holders, this to Toyota Plaza digital experience that they're going to work on, and then, of course, level 400 seating uh, a revamp of that. So we'll see it's, uh, how quickly these things happen. Obviously, the black seats probably won't happen until after the season. I think the Toyota Plaza is the one we'll see first. They said that they want to actually get stuff going by the end of this season and likely for a playoff run. So um, some things to look forward to, some things to justify the, the inevitable ticket increase the, the the price in tickets and uh yeah just a lot of at least um the, this this team of rutherford and, and patrick alvin more rutherford as the president and then michael doyle as the as the um ceo is that is is that what he is yeah he's the president of business operations a lot of things to look forward to in the arena to enhance our canucks game viewing experience so Canucks fans let me know what you think about some of these improvements let me know what you think about the improvements so far already let me know what you think about Carson Soucy likely ready to return and if you're happy that Travis Green is going to be coaching behind a bench in New Jersey leave a comment below I'll do my best to read react and reply don't forget tonight 10 p.m me and Parker Canucks after dark on the Can Canucks after dark channel and then 11 15 right here for a, a, a more informal a more light games night that we do every Monday night as long as there's no Canucks game night, which tonight it isn't. So I hope you join me then. And in the meantime, thanks to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovlander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. On your way out, subscribe, like the video, leave a donation. You can become a member, you can upgrade your membership, and leave a comment on any of the three things I talked about. Susie, Travis Green, Improvement Stage 3 to Rogers Arena. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.